Hey everyone, I'm going to show you a quick and dirty way to spy on keywords for any Amazon book. Sure, there are tools out there, both free and paid, that can tell you what the keywords are, but wouldn't you rather just get it for free straight from the horse's mouth? The horse in this case is Amazon, the Amazon advertising platform to be specific. My name is Peter, this is Passive Income Hustle, and today's video is brought to you by that damn song you can't get out of your head. You know the one. So why is it an advantage to know the keywords of your competitors? because this will tell you how the buyers are finding the book. These are the words that they are typing into Amazon's search bar to get the books to show up. If you can get your book in the search results, then there's a chance the customers will add it to their cart and gladly part with their money. If you want to sell in a specific niche and you create a better book, knowing all the ways to get found by customers will lead to more sales. Okay, how is this done? Let's say you watched my awesome video on the Kaleidoscope coloring book niche and you want in on the action. You researched some bestsellers and created a book that would blow them out of the water. Here's how to get the keywords. Go into your Amazon advertising portal and create a new campaign. You're going to create a sponsored products campaign. We're not going to create a real campaign. We're just going to go through the motions so MS can show us the keywords for the book. So for campaign name, you can leave it as that. Portfolio, leave it alone. Start and end. Date, leave that alone. Daily budget, I like to put something ridiculous like 100 bucks. Targeting, you want to do manual. And for dynamic bids, I usually pick up and down. I'm not sure if that makes a difference, but it might factor into the way Amazon sees you targeting your keywords. For ad group, you leave that alone. And for products, this is where you would enter in your ASIN for the bestseller. So I have here the ASIN for the Kaleidoscope bestseller that I want to research. Hit the search. And there is my Dover Easy Kaleidoscope Stained Glass Coloring Book. I click Add. Then scroll to the bottom, and here under keyword targeting is our pot of gold. These are the keywords that Amazon suggests for this book. And this is the list you want to go through. Keep in mind that the main keyword that we used to find this book was Kaleidoscope Coloring Book. But as you can see, Amazon suggested Stained Glass Coloring Book. So let's copy this and see how many books are returned. There are 857 books for Stained Glass Coloring Book. And here is our book right here. Now let's try another variation, stained glass coloring book. For this one, there are only 345 results. And once again, our book shows up in the second row. Keep in mind that AMS will suggest really broad keywords such as coloring book. You can ignore these because the competition is so high that it's not even worth going after right now. When I searched for coloring book on Amazon, the Kaleidoscope coloring book, our bestseller, didn't show up in the first five pages and I just gave up after that. Another thing to keep an eye on is the suggested bid price. The higher the bid price, the more competitive the keyword is. And here is our main keyword that we started with, Kaleidoscope Coloring Book. Now let's do another bestseller in the general coloring book niche. And the keywords we get back are things like adult Coloring book stress, best adult coloring books, adult coloring book, adult coloring book set. So these are pretty general. Let's see if we can see how many competitors there are. Adult coloring book stress has 10,000 results. So that is really competitive. Let's see. What about adult coloring book stress relieving? 5,000, okay, a little better, but still very competitive. Adult coloring book relaxation. The suggested bid is about a dollar, a little over a dollar. So let's see what that results in. 70,000, okay, that is way too many. That's the thing you'll come across with these really popular niche books. The keywords that get returned are really competitive because the coloring book, this coloring book in particular, is really popular, so it'll show up for a lot of keywords, even the really, the really high competition keywords. You may be wondering, how do I know these are valuable keywords? That Amazon is just not listing a bunch of random, loosely related phrases? Well, think about it. Amazon is in the business of making money. It's in their best interest to help you sell your book. And these are the phrases Amazon thinks your target audience will search for. If they are correct, it increases the chance of a sale and they can take their cut of the money. All right, let's do another niche. Let's say you also watched my other awesome video on the Manifesting Journal niche. 
I grab the ASIN of the bestseller, search for it, and add it to the list of products. And even though our main keyword starting out was manifesting journal, we see that we have vision board, manifestation journal. Let's see how many that has. A thousand, okay, that's a little much. Manifestation planner. And that only has 186 results, which is interesting because the exact phrase suggested bid is $2.42, which is pretty high. How about manifestation notebook? Okay, only 687 results in this one. One last one, 555 manifestation journal, and just 221 results for 555 manifestation journal. So this is a niche that you might want to look into because there is low competition and Amazon says there are people searching for it. Okay, you get the idea. Now you know how to get keywords for any book in Amazon. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Also check out my other videos where I go over niches with low competition, high value keywords.